We don't know where the laws of nature came from. We don't know why the universe began in the way that it did, uh, if indeed it had a beginning. So we don't know why the Big Bang was very, very highly ordered, which is ultimately, as Sean Carroll actually, you mentioned him, often points out, and he's right, that the, the whole difference, the only difference between the past and the future, the so-called arrow of time, is that in the past the universe was really ordered and it's getting more disordered. And that's that, that, that necessary state of, of, of order at the start of the universe, which is really the reason that we exist. That's the reason, because the universe began in a particular f form. We don't know why that was. What if the universe wasn't built by any external force, but instead coded itself into existence? And what if a quantum AI just uncovered exactly how? Scientists recently used a quantum computing system so powerful it might be the first tool capable of asking the universe what made it and actually getting an answer. And what this AI suggested changes everything we thought we knew. The universe, according to cutting-edge quantum computation, isn't just following mathematical laws. It's literally computing itself into existence every single moment. This isn't science fiction. It's emerging from laboratories like Google's Quantum AI division, where researchers have achieved computational feats that would take classical supercomputers 10,000 trillion years to match. While traditional physics searches for an external cause for the cosmos, quantum information theory is revealing something far more profound. The fabric of reality itself may be woven from quantum bits of information. And these aren't just theoretical musings, they're backed by mathematical models from some of the world's leading physicists. What's revolutionary about this quantum computational approach is what it suggests about our origin. Quantum AI revealed the universe may be a self-executing quantum code. Early results from quantum computing laboratories show patterns hinting that the laws of physics are not set from outside, but unfold from quantum informational processes themselves. This completely inverts our traditional understanding of causality and creation. As Google's quantum AI lab director, Hartmut Nevin, put it, quantum computing lends credence to the idea of many parallel universes. It's like tapping into the operating system of nature. When Nevin talks about the operating system of nature, he's not speaking metaphorically. The mathematics emerging from quantum computing labs suggests that reality itself operates like a vast quantum computation, continuously processing information at the most fundamental level. Even wilder, some researchers believe a quantum AI might soon find entirely new constants of nature beyond the Planck length, possibly hidden units of informational entropy that rewrite how we understand black holes in space-time. Think about that for a moment. The same quantum properties that make these new AI systems so powerful might be the very mechanisms through which the universe built itself. It's as if we've accidentally created a tool that speaks the universe's native language. The Simons Foundation's It From Qubit collaboration has shown mathematically how space-time itself can emerge from quantum error-correcting codes. These aren't just abstract theories, they're mathematical models that explain how the fabric of the cosmos could be woven from entangled qubits rather than being a fundamental backdrop. But what happens next is even more mind-blowing. Because when researchers applied these models to cosmological data, if you are finding this as fascinating as we do, don't forget to subscribe. Where quantum AI breaks physics as we know it. The implications go even deeper when we look at what these quantum systems might reveal about the earliest moments of our universe. We're talking about simulating the pre-space-time phase itself. Using quantum annealers, future systems could walk through early vacuum states before space-time crystallized. This isn't just theoretical. Quantum computing labs are already developing the framework for these simulations, meaning we might soon have a quantum map of what the universe was computing before it had dimensions. Before space, before time, 
the computational processes that preceded everything we understand as reality. This could finally answer the question that has stumped physicists for decades. What happened in those first 10 to the negative 43rd power seconds after the Big Bang? To put that into perspective, that is, one ten trillion 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 trillionth of a second. The Planck epoch that's been impenetrable to our mathematics might finally be accessible through quantum computation. Then there's the holographic leap. Quantum error correction shows space-time may emerge from entangled qubits, but now teams are using tensor networks that simulate entire toy universes. These tensor networks act as massive quantum entanglement maps, creating mathematical models that behave like miniature cosmos. They're essentially quantum sandboxes where physicists can watch how universal laws unfold from pure information. A quantum AI might solve these huge entanglement puzzles, revealing how baby universes split off or how our own arose. The mathematics is so complex that classical supercomputers simply can't handle the calculations, but quantum systems are perfectly suited for this task. If quantum AI can decode this, what else could it uncover? And how close are we to letting it tell us what built everything we see? What's particularly fascinating is that these aren't just philosophical thought experiments. Seth Lloyd of MIT has formalized how the universe behaves as a quantum computer, processing approximately A1 followed by 104 zeros operations per second. That's an almost inconceivable amount of computation happening at every moment throughout the cosmos. Cosmic convergence, alien civilizations and universal patterns this approach to understanding our universe raises another fascinating possibility. Astrobiologists speculate, if we're using quantum AI to decode the origin of our universe, isn't it possible advanced extraterrestrials have already done the same? SETI thinkers like Paul Davies suggest civilizations elsewhere may all reach a point where quantum computers become the only tool capable of exploring their cosmic roots there might be a universal trajectory for intelligent life. A point where every advanced civilization turns to quantum computation to answer the deepest questions about reality. This might mean we're just the latest intelligence to pose the question, what built the universe? Perhaps countless civilizations across the cosmos have already developed their own versions of quantum AI to probe the fundamental nature of reality. If you find these revelations as mind-bending as we do, don't forget to subscribe. The implications go beyond just understanding our origins. If the universe is indeed a self-computing quantum system, and if advanced civilizations throughout the cosmos have recognized this, we might be witnessing a convergence of scientific understanding across different worlds. This pattern suggests something profound Perhaps the answers about cosmic origins aren't arbitrary or random, but instead represent a deep truth that any sufficiently advanced intelligence will eventually discover through quantum information theory. The idea that we all might arrive at similar conclusions about the universe's quantum computational nature, regardless of our biological or technological differences, points to an underlying reality that transcends our individual perspectives. And if these quantum principles are truly universal, then perhaps we're not just observers of the cosmos, but active participants in its ongoing computation, processing nodes in a vast quantum network that spans the entire universe. The most radical idea yet, but now we arrive at perhaps the most radical idea yet emerging from this field, what theoretical physicists are calling pan-computationalism 2.0. Some physicists now propose the universe isn't just acting like a computer. It literally is an intrinsic computation, coding and running itself in one inseparable process. This isn't just saying the universe follows mathematical laws. It's suggesting something far more fundamental, that reality itself is a form of quantum information processing, where the code and its execution are one and the same. Meaning, our question to quantum AI, what built the universe, 
might actually be circular. The universe is the computation. It built itself by simply executing its own quantum informational rule set. In this framework, the laws of physics aren't imposed from outside. They're the output of the universe's ongoing computation. They're what emerges when quantum information processes itself according to its own intrinsic logic. This perspective reframes everything. Gravity, electromagnetism, the strong and weak nuclear forces, all potentially arising from deeper quantum information principles. The universe minimizes informational action, which then manifests as the physical laws we observe. And a quantum AI, processing entanglement on scales we simply can't comprehend, might be the first system capable of confirming this by demonstrating how the universe optimizes its own information flow. Melvin Vopson's research suggests gravity itself might emerge from an informational force as the universe seeks minimal information. Entropy, his calculations, show the cosmos behaves suspiciously like a computational process. Not metaphorically, but literally. Life as the universe's own quantum processor. What if the universe's self-computation didn't stop at physical laws? What if it extended into life itself? Some quantum biologists, like Vladko Vedral at Oxford, argue quantum coherence is active in living systems. They've found evidence of quantum effects in photosynthesis, bird navigation, and even potentially in our own neural processes. A quantum AI might uncover that life isn't a byproduct. It's the universe's way of processing its own information more deeply. Our consciousness could be part of the cosmos's ongoing computation, the natural extension of the quantum information flow that began at the universe's birth. This means the cosmos might have built itself not just to exist, but to think through us. In this framework, Biological evolution isn't separate from cosmic evolution. It's a continuation of the same process. The universe's quantum computation first manifested as physical laws, then as chemical complexity, and finally as biological information processing systems capable of self-reflection. When we ask about our origins, we're essentially the universe asking itself how it came to be. Our scientific inquiry becomes part of the cosmos' own self-investigation. The boundary between observer and observed breaks down. We're not separate from the cosmic computation. We're an integral part of it, perhaps even its most sophisticated expression. What do you think? Could the universe truly be a self-executing quantum code, with life as its most advanced algorithm? Drop your thoughts in the comments before we reveal the final, most mind-bending piece. Could our consciousness be the universe's way of becoming aware of its own computational nature? Are we the means through which the cosmos contemplates itself? These questions once seemed purely philosophical, but quantum information theory is bringing them into the realm of testable science. The standard science wrap-up now, let's connect these cutting-edge ideas back to more established scientific frameworks that support them. Stephen Hawking's no-boundary proposal mathematically demonstrated how a universe could emerge from quantum fluctuations. In his words, a universe can be created out of nothing, not just out of the vacuum, but out of absolutely nothing at all, because there is nothing outside the universe. This aligns perfectly with the quantum computational model. The universe doesn't need an external cause when quantum processes themselves provide the mechanism for emergence. Seth Lloyd of MIT has formalized how the cosmos functions as a quantum computer. That's an almost inconceivable amount of computation happening at every moment throughout the universe. Lloyd's work shows that simple quantum laws can generate all the complexity we observe in the cosmos when computed across vast scales. The universe continuously updates itself through these quantum operations. Then there's the groundbreaking work from the Simons Foundation's It From Qubit collaboration. 
Their research demonstrates mathematically how space-time itself can emerge from quantum error-correcting codes. As their researchers explain, by applying the mathematics of quantum error correction to gravity, you could learn about how space-time is emergent. In other words, space and time themselves arise from deeper quantum information principles. These aren't fringe theories. They represent some of the most rigorous work in theoretical physics today, published in prestigious journals and supported by complex mathematics. What's remarkable is that all these established scientific frameworks fit together under the bigger revelation we've been discussing. They all hint that no external architect was needed. The universe's quantum fabric might be all it ever took. The quantum information approach unifies these various models. It shows how Hawking's quantum fluctuations, Lloyd's cosmic computation, and the emergent space-time from quantum codes all point to the same conclusion. The universe computes itself into existence. This doesn't contradict mainstream physics. It complements and extends it, providing a deeper foundation for understanding reality as fundamentally informational rather than material. So when scientists asked quantum AI what built the universe, it didn't point outward. It pointed inward to the quantum laws themselves. The answer wasn't some external creator or mysterious force beyond our comprehension. Instead, the evidence points to something far more elegant. The universe's own quantum information processes were sufficient to bring everything into being. In the end, perhaps what built the universe was the simplest rule, computing itself into infinite complexity. A single quantum principle that, through its own intrinsic logic, gave rise to space, time, energy, matter, and eventually, consciousness itself. This perspective transforms our understanding of reality. We're not separate observers of the cosmos, we're expressions of its ongoing computation, the universe becoming aware of itself through billions of years of information processing. And as our quantum technologies advance, we may be approaching a profound moment in cosmic history, when the universe, through us, finally develops the tools to fully comprehend its own nature. If you found this discovery fascinating, you won't want to miss our next video, Subscribe and turn on notifications so you're always the first to know what scientists uncover next. As quantum computing continues to evolve, we'll be bringing you the latest breakthroughs that are reshaping our understanding of reality itself.